Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pause menu. So if I press the P button, it will open up my pause screen, and if I click the resume button, it will take me back to my game. So to get started, we're going to first design our pause menu. So in a free folder, just right click, go user interface, and select widget blueprint, select user widget, and let's just call this our pause menu, widget blueprint. And if we double click and open it up, let's design our pause menu. So I'm going to go over to the palette and look for a canvas panel and just drag this in here. Then in my palette, if I just look for a vertical box and just drag this somewhere into the center of the um, canvas panel and then just go over to anchor and just anchor this to the middle of the screen. Then we just want to add some buttons which are going to appear inside of our pause menu. So here in the palette, I'm going to look for a button and just drag this in. And then I'm going to look for some text and just drag this text on top of the um, button. And for this first text, I'm just going to make it say resume. So we're going to make our player press a button, which is going to bring up this pause menu. And then if they click this resume button, it will resume the game. I'm also just going to go to font and make the size of this, let's say 50. Then if we just go to the button and go to the padding, and I'm just going to add a padding of 30 in the bottom. Then just select this um, button, right click, and go duplicate. So we're going to have another button inside of our pause menu. And just make this say return to main menu. So if our player clicks this button, we'll return them to the main menu. And I'm just going to make my um, vertical box a bit bigger. And I spelt this incorrectly, so I'll just quickly fix that. And then we're going to have one more button in our pause menu. So I'm just going to right click here and go duplicate and I'm going to make this say quit and when our player presses this we'll make them quit the game entirely so I'm just going to compile and save this and we're going to set it up so when our player presses the P button it will open up our pause menu so in Unreal Engine 5.1 so this is the sorry not the latest version but in the newer versions of Unreal Engine in order to add new input keys just go to the input folder and go to actions right click and go input and select input action and just call this IA underscore pause then we just want to go over to the IMC default and go add new mapping and select the input action pause that we just made then we just want to look for this keyboard icon and this is the button the player is going to have to press in order to trigger the um, pause button so I'm going to make it so when the player presses the P button it will trigger the input action pause so here it is I will save this close this and then go over to my um, third person character and then in some free space I'm just going to right click and look for the pause enhanced input action that we just made so it should be called IA underscore pause so when the player presses the P button it will trigger this and what we're going to do is just drag off started and look for create widget and the widget we're going to create is going to be the pause menu that we just made and then we just want to drag off return value and add this to our viewport and then after we've done this we just want to drag up here and look for set game paused and just make sure that this is checked and that'll make it so the game is paused before we do that we actually just want to right click and look for get player controller drag up here and look for set show mouse cursor this will make it so we can see our mouse cursor and then we also just want to drag up here and look for set input and we want can't see it so this one yeah sorry set input mode ui only and that'll just make it so we can interact with our main menu and stuff so i'll just go from here into here and from here into here and from here into here and this will just make it so when i press the p button it will open up my pause menu and then I'll have my mouse and I can interact with my main menu. If we just go back to our pause menu widget blueprint, let's add some functionality to these buttons. So if I just select the resume one, scroll down and go unclicked. When I click this button, the first thing I'm going to do is just drag up here and look for set game pause and just leave this unchecked and that will unpause the game. Then we just want to right click and look for get player controller drag off here and look for set show mouse cursor and just leave this unchecked so we'll hide our mouse cursor and so that we can play our game again just drag off here and look for set 
input game only and that will make it so we can control our game again then we just want to drag up here and look for remove from parent and this will just remove this widget from our screen if we go back to the designer and go to the return to main menu when I click this button I will just drag up here and look for open level by object reference so in the earlier series so in like the first video in the series I made a main menu so I'm just going to make it open up that main menu level you could just make this take it you can just make it so this will take your player to the main menu of your level so just select here and then select your main menu level then finally if I just go to the quit button scroll down and go on clicked when I click this button I'll just look for the quit game and this will make it so I'll quit my game so if I just go compile save and close this we can test this all out if I go play I'm in my game if I press the P button it'll bring up my pause menu if I click resume it will resume my game and then I can move around again if I do it again and go return to main menu it will take me to my main menu and I can just go start this will take me to my level again and if I press the P button again and go quit it will quit my game so with that that is how to make a pause menu inside Unreal Engine to make your pause menu look a bit nicer what we can do is just go to the palette and look for an image drag it somewhere into your canvas panel and go to anchor anchor it across the whole of the screen so select the bottom one and in the offset put a value of zero in each of them and then for the z order make it minus one this will put a layer behind everything so make it the um, layer which is basically behind everything and then if i go to color and opacity i'll make it black and then i'll make this alpha value something like 0.2 so this will mean this will have a transparency of 0.25 and if i go compile and play and then press the pause menu it looks a bit better feel free to play around with that opacity value i will also be giving away the project files for this entire series so if you want a project with a main menu an options menu and a pause menu there'll be a link in the description to download this entire project for free if you enjoyed like and subscribe it really helps me out and i'll see you guys in the next one bye